Kolaba used to earn a living as a tour guide in Jen. The city is home to the world's largest mud brick building, which has been on the UNESCO World Heritage and Danger list since 2016. The mosque used to draw tens of thousands of tourists to Mali every year. But a 12-year-long conflict has decimated the tourism. Hotel arrivals used to amount to over 300,000. This was the first period. There were Americans, French, Chinese, Italians and such. It was really a popular destination. Given the security crisis, this clientele is virtually absent from Mali now. And it's taking its toll on locals. We believed that this crisis would, sooner or later, end, and that everything would resume as good as it was before. But the more that time passed, this dream became illusory. Now, it's really difficult. Nonetheless, residents came together recently to take part in an annual ritual. The building requires a new layer of muddy cheer to prevent it from falling into disrepair. The whole city works as a team, taking the opportunity to teach the younger generations the importance of their cultural history. When we get there, each one of us goes to a certain spot to supervise. This is how we do it until it's done. We organize ourselves and we supervise the younger ones. When it's all done, we will bring others up to make sure the work is good. For a city that's fallen on hard times, this ancient mosque continues to stand as a source of pride. Yarandinch, Africa Matters.